So this little video today is how to do a backup locally on your B-Beat. Um, quite handy if you don't like using the PC for doing your backups, or maybe you're out in the field, you've got to do some edits, you're on tour, you haven't got access to your uh, regular desktop setup, which many of you may have. Um, sounds like a fairly straightforward process, although there's a couple of tips I wasn't aware of that I picked up from some of the forums. Uh, and while we're at it, definitely join, if you haven't, the Facebook um, B-Beat users forum chat group. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Some very, very useful tips on there from users around the world. Um, definitely worth being part of. So in order to perform a backup, first of all, you'll need a, a memory stick of uh, sufficient memory. Insert your, point out the obvious here, shove your, shove your stick in the hole. And if you've got some firmware on there, it might pop up. Um, we're gonna come back to that later on because there's something important you need to know about that. Um, I'm gonna cancel that. So to do, uh, just go back to the top menu, to do your backup, go into the menu, backup to USB, and this may take some time. Um, I'm gonna do a time-lapse video of that just to show you how long it takes. So I'll come back to that in a moment. Before we do that, let's just have a little look, see how much stuff is actually on my system. And if we take a look, I've actually used 77 of 112 gigabytes. So there's quite a bit on there. I think there's about 66, 60 odd audio projects and 60 odd video projects. Um, so that's gonna take quite a while. And you'll see I'm using version 4.0.3 firmware. Not the most current, not the latest, but um, you need to check out another video for a reason why I'm using that at the uh, this uh, making of this video, which is the 1st of July, early July 2024. Okay, so let's take a look how long it takes to back up the B Beat. So once your BB is complete, and uh, hopefully yours is a bit quicker than that, that could be down to the speed of the USB stick. Um, probably not the sort of thing you want to do pre-gig, it's something you want to do set aside time for it. In order to restore, there's a useful tip, which uh, again, check out the Facebook chat groups because there's a tip in there I wasn't aware of. Um, we're told that if you insert your stick, it will give you the option to restore from the backup. So I've got a backup on this stick. And if we shove it in, we see similar to what we saw earlier on, um, there's an update, there's a later firmware firmware file on here. Um, we don't want that. If we try and look for a restore um, function in the options, there isn't one. Now, this was the tip picked up from the forums. If we take the stick out and insert it into the PC, we need to get rid of the firmware file in order to get the uh, backup restored onto the unit. So let's have a look at that. So here, if you can see it, is the contents of the, the, B, the USB stick. And here is the firmware file. So I'm told by tech support, we need to delete that before the uh, BB recognizes it as a available backup resource. Uh, I'm not gonna do that now. Um, similarly, I'm not going to do a restore because I don't want to risk upsetting my live working gigging units. So if anyone's got any feedback on how long it takes to restore compared to the amount of time taken from the backup, I'd be really interested to know and hopefully you can share that info with us. Let's just take a look at the data file then. This is what was backed up. And if we check out in there, um, during the backup, you notice it goes through sections one to five, one of five backups. And I believe that must be one of these folders here. So we've got the config folder, media folder, MIDI folder, projects and score. Config, I guess, is settings towards uh, how the unit's set up. Media, there's all my video files. And if we have a quick look, I've actually got, um, yeah, 66 videos in my project, or 66 media files. Some's videos, some are probably JPEGs. And this will be, I'm assuming, in the format that the B-Beat converts them to for its own internal storage. Um, these are like 1920 by 1080 movie files, so they're all of a significant size. And, and my, uh, all my media files, if we have a quick look, 
I've got 18 gigabytes worth of uh, media files. Back to the upper menu, MIDI, I've got no, I think I've got one MIDI project I've played in the past there, but I'm not using MIDI as such. Projects is all my audio projects, and uh, if we take a look there, uh, there's 66 items, and I take it that the B beat numbers them, any numbers missing in the series are probably projects I've deleted in the past. So if I have a quick look at project number three, in there we can see it's a collection of uh, some data files, JSON objects, and some WAV files. And uh, this will be the WAV file format of the preferred choice of the B-Beat. So anyone who thinks they can save memory by using MP3 files, false economy, it's going to convert everything to the, uh, the WAV file. Off the top of my head, I can't remember what the, uh, the bit depth bit rate is, but it's, um, yeah, it's high quality audio. So there's all my uh, audio projects. And that's consuming 16 gigabytes. So we, we can see that the videos and the media takes up a significant part of the memory. Um, scores, I'm not using scores. That must be for PDF files, etc. And there's a, another data file down the bottom there, which uh, I guess relates to some other work into the unit. So that's the contents of the B-Beat backup. Um, if you back up on a, uh, onto a PC, it saves it as one big massive file. I guess the, the advantage here of the, the individual files is if you want to retrieve one particular project, uh, assuming you know what number it is, you can pull out the individual WAV files and data files. Um, the only way I've found to recognize what the audio project is, is to probably play one of the files because they're all have their own internal name systems uh, and just identify by listening to it. So um, the numbers don't mean a lot to me, but obviously will relate to something when they're restored back into the B-Beat. So there we go. That's the uh, that's your B beat. How to back up, how to restore from the uh, USB stick. And as I said, if anyone can tell me how long it takes their B beat to restore from a USB stick and what size files data they are using, just so we get an idea, that'd be uh, useful to share. And probably not the sort of thing you want to do <clears throat> whilst in the field on tour. But uh, as always, it's good to have a backup of some kind, whether it's a spare unit or ideally your files are backed up on a USB stick should the worst come to the worst, um, which we don't want to happen, do we? Signing off, like I say, check out the Facebook form, link in the description below, and see you in another video soon.